Hello everybody. Sorry, the video is playing in the back in background. Uh, peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, before we start today, you know, yesterday we we saw that uh, the Muslims they ask uh, an Orthodox Jew as they claim, I don't know if he is or not, uh, to call me and to refute me. Uh, but what happened? It was totally the opposite. But before we go there, there is a Muslim lady. Uh, she asked me a question, and I promised her to answer. Here we go. Uh, you promised me to answer my questions in the coming video. All right, and then here she is saying, "If you think, uh, please don't forget to share your the, 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 with your friends, invite your friends, and uh, share the link with them. We, we will not stay for long today. Uh, we will answer some comment and show the stupidity as usual of some." Uh, here we answer Miss Dari Diria. She is a Muslim. If you think Prophet Muhammad do all things for his own benefit, then what he would go through all these difficulties? Abu Sufyan offend him a lot. Of Abu Sufyan offer him a lot of money. As I know, is the opposite. It is Muhammad who offer Abu Sufyan a lot of money. And actually, he paid him. <laughs> Muhammad already making a lot of money, and he is the one now is buying. If we go in the Quran, you lady, you know, I, you know, I, I understand you don't know much about your the cult of Muhammad and his garbage. If we go in the Quran, we will see something called Al Mu'allaf Al This switch to Arabic. المؤلف قلوبهم chapter 9 verse number 60 Muhammad now he have a lot of money when you are saying the Arab they offer him you know a, a place <laughs> already he have a place so they offer him nothing he knew he can he would take them soon all of them and actually he did والمؤلف قلوبهم Maybe you might say uh, you know what this is here it says it's speaking about charity no Look at the Muslims' translation falsely of the verse. However, pay money to reconcile those in bondage and in debt in the cause of Allah. Okay, what does that mean? For those who their heart have been reconciled, they have what? They don't believe in Allah. So what we do, we pay them. Let us go and see the interpretation. Because you might say it's not true. We go to the yellow pages of Muhammadan. And we have a lot of them. And again, this is a chapter 9, verse number 60. We go here, chapter 9, verse number 60. And this is your Islamic interpretation. I have nothing to do with it. As you see, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. All right. <clears throat> so, what happened here? Muhammad, he steal money from people, and those who he cannot fight them, they are strong, they are war warrior. He bought them as gang. And later, those people, they controlled the caliphate, actually, and they killed his own grandson. So, if we go now, you know, there's a book, it's called uh, Asbab al-Nuzul. Asbab al-Nuzul. You can read the Tafsir of Jalalain, or you can read Ibn Abbas if you want, or you can read Ibn Kathir, or anything you want. You will see that Muhammad, he paid Abu Sufyan, as you see here. Read carefully. And those who their heart are to be reconciled by giving them gifts such as Abu Sufyan and his companions. <laughs> but there is, she said to us, Abu Sufyan, he offered Muhammad money. It's the opposite. <laughs> Do you see how it works, guys? It's the opposite. Muhammad, he paid the man money to convert to Islam. 
Muhammad, he thought about it. How I can get this guy? I cannot fight him. He's strong. He have a strong people fight with him. He have a strong warrior with him. So the big name of, of his family, if we pay them money, we make them convert, the rest will be scared. And this is exactly what happened. So Muhammad having a lot of benefit, Muhammad, he take the fifth of the booty. Even the tafsir says, and the Islamic book says, if the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately so the prophet can <coughs> her. And you are telling me what the benefit for the prophet to go all, through all this difficulty? What difficulty? Muhammad, even he never go to war. Muhammad, he sit home, he sent people to die. When the last time Muhammad, he was carrying a sword and we was fighting. The only time we know Muhammad, he was injured, it was hiding behind when somebody threw a rock at his face. Hmm? Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran just about his private part. Difficulty? I mean, what difficulty you are talking about? Aisha, she get tens of thousands of pieces of gold in her, the ceremony, like the, in the memory of her marriage to the Prophet. The wives of Muhammad, they were fighting over the gifts, which is nothing but a bribe. Everybody want to give a gift to Muhammad to get protection. Let us see. <clears throat> Do you see this hadith here? This is Sahih. This is Sahih. We can show it to you from anywhere you want. The wives of Muhammad, they are fighting over money. How much money we are talking about? Read carefully. The funny is, Muhammad, the Muslim, they say, the Prophet said, don't marry more than one if you cannot be justice. Was Muhammad justice with his wife? Look what they are doing. They are fighting. Over what? Over gifts. The wives of the Prophet got together and sent Fatima to the Prophet. Fatima is his daughter, not his real daughter, by the way. The Muslim, they claim that this is his daughter. Muhammad had no children. He's a potent man. He told her to say, your wives <coughs> said something to effect to that eff the effect that they are urging you to be equable with regard to the matter of daughter of Abu Quhafa. Who is Abu Quhafa? This is uh, Abu Bakr, the pimp, as the Shia say about him. The one who eats flies, as the Shia say about him. Eat flies? Yes, they eat flies. <coughs> She said, so she entered upon the prophet and she said to him, and he, Aisha, she was there. And Aisha, by the way, doesn't, she was not under his cover. She, <laughs> he was wearing the clothes of Aisha. Look at the first translation. It says, وَهُوَ مَعَ Aisha فِي مِرْطِيهَا Liars. Then, they are saying we are they are urging you to be equitable regard the matter of which may be justice equitable be justice treat treat us equally muhammad did not answer you can read the hadith up to the end muhammad he don't care and he told that at the end he said to her do you hate the one do you love the one i love so he said she said yes and then he said so don't hurt me in aisha The rest of the wives, they have no right to get the gifts. Only the gift go to Aisha. How much gifts? And you see here, Aisha, she is acting like a whore. And when the Zainab, she came, Aisha, she insulted the women and she silenced her. And then she is the do and Muhammad when he she, she starts screaming, saying shame on you. This is the money coming for me. I am the wife, favorite wife of the Prophet. He do boom boom with me every day. Yes, he cannot do it. I try my best to help him, not like you. And I deserve the gifts. So Muhammad after Aisha she screamed at Zainab. And the rest of the wives, Muhammad he said, she is the daughter of Abu Bakr.
Man, she's strong. Which means she is a very bad woman. And I never saw any woman who is better, more generous in giving charity more than a kin, you know, than Zainab. So Zainab is a good woman, but Aisha, she humiliated her, and Muhammad, he was treating all the women badly. And here we are going to ask you, there, yeah. Muhammad is a poor man, he has no benefit. How he can open a house for 13 women, 13 houses? How many houses your father can open? I mean, do you see the Muslim? They said to us, the Prophet was very poor, for very poor. 13 women, 13 houses, each one of them she has servants and slaves. And the Prophet is so poor. <clears throat> Let us see if she have a rest of comments here. <clears throat> All right, and then she said, uh, Christian accept the Old Testament <clears throat> as their own book. Is that correct? Is it correct? Then let us read the passage about the Messiah. Uh, expect from the Old Testament and write them aside. After that, let us compare with the Quran. It is the identity of Jesus and God the closer to the Bible or closer to the Quran. You see, there's more than 360, 70 prophecy in the Old Testament about Jesus. The most amazing one of them that he will be called God is with us. God is with us. God will burn in the flesh. That is a close to the Quran. So what are you talking about? Your Quran is not even a book. Your Quran is like somebody homeless. He doesn't know how to go to the bathroom. I mean, he there's no bathroom. So he walked in the street. He found papers. He started collecting papers because he needed to whip his ass. Excuse my language, I'm just giving you an example. And then whatever papers he found, he went to the bathroom, he put them together, he said, hold on, I'm not going to give, use them to whip my ass with it. This is amazing, look, it's in Arabic, I will put them together, and that was the Quran. Even you Muslims agree that the Quran came like a drop of water here and there, and the verses doesn't match each other. Which means we can find the verse which is in the, ch in, in the chair, uh, chapter, but it came with other verse in the cow chapter time. So why it is there? Because the Muslim they play with them. As an example, I will show you an example. <clears throat> you don't like guys my, my parables? Perfectly fit and match. Look at this. What is the number of this verse? Chapter 5, verse number 3. Okay. How this is can be? Read with me carefully. I want any Muslim you have little brain, big brain, doesn't matter. At least use it. Otherwise, you will lose it. Don't you like Darwin? He said that. I wonder if he did use it too. This day, this day, Muhammad, Allah saying, this day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and chosen for you Islam as religion. Okay, hold on. This day, but this is a chapter 5, verse number 3. In order for this statement to be accurate, it have to be at the end of the book. Like you know, watch when you watch a movie in the in the in the in the, in the old days, people they stay as long the the light is off. So the movies, what they do, they they write at the end, the end, like get lost, get out. Hmm? Muhammad he wrote this, and it is in the beginning of the Quran. Islam is perfect now. I completed your religion for you now. If Islam is completed, so what is the rest? We have one, the Quran is 114 chapters. And this is a chapter number five. So what we will do with the rest? Islam is completed, that's it. This should be the last verse. Here we should have zero, nothing, nothing, that's it, no more. All of this is addition. 
Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? If I say, like, when Jesus says it is completed, his mission completed when he was on the cross, right? It's complete. How Islam is completed? Perfected Islam for you. You perfected Islam for us because you said to us, you cannot eat pigs. That's it, this is Islam. Eat chicken, don't eat pigs. Drink camel urine. By the way, it doesn't say here, even even here, by the way, I can show you, you can eat pigs, you know, you know that? When Muslims they say they cannot eat pigs, they are lying. Absolutely lying. I, you know, we can prove it in two seconds. Here we go. Let us go to the yellow pages that's called the, the Quran. Hmm? <clears throat> Oh boy. Chapter 5, verse number 5. This day all things are made good, the pure made lawful into you. Who? The food of the people of the book is lawful into you. Don't you Muslims say, Christians, they eat pigs? Don't know Muhammad that the Christians, they eat pork? So how all their food is lawful for you? This is one, but we are not done. Let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad. Mickey Mouse book. <clears throat> Why we have only 800, 900? Guys, later we will talk about lipstick and fashion. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, we have a, if we have a version from the heaven of Allah, she will do fashion show. Big, big, big stuff, you know? Mm hmm. Let us get more Muslims. Just tell them versions are here, they will be here. All right. Chapter 5, verse number 3. The same one, actually. We are laughing about. It says, And if any of you is forced because of hunger, he can eat pork. So, I thought you cannot eat pork. So you are allowed to eat the, the food of the Christians, whatever they eat. It says the food of the Christian, doesn't matter what it is. And this is just a verse before it, after it. And the verse before it, verse number three, it says, if you aren't hungry, eat pork too. Well, I'm hungry. So don't compare the Quran to any book. Quran is a stupid book. We can compare the Quran only to the book of the rabbis, like fairy tales of the flying carpet, the punishment of the grave, which we spoke about it yesterday and the day before. And you know, one of the funny things about Muhammad that he is so stupid to the point he accepts anything that the rabbi they say, as an example. Why Allah will torture you in the grave? Is that because you rape women? No. Because you're a thief? No. Because you are a bad person? No. Because you urinate. Because of what? Urinate. Have you ever heard of such a garbage? Hmm? The reason for the punishment of the grave is urine? So we Muslims, we drink urine, but urine will cause us to be punished in the grave. How wise is that? So a person, he is pissing, some drop of urine fall in his toes. 
Allah will bring him in the grave, you idiot. You did urine in your toes? No. And the guy in the grave, like, what I will do? You know, you know, because of urine. So the stupid rabbis, they said urine. They say that to their kids, to the stupid kids, so they can keep themselves clean. So Muhammad, he thought this is from God. And now he believe it. And look, he learned this from who? Again, from a Jewish woman. Read carefully. Again, a Jewish woman entered into me and said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. If you ask uh, Zakir Naik about this, what Zakir would never say? I don't know if I should call him right now. What is the time now? Zach, last time I called Zakir Naik, he was really upset for me. And you know, Zakir is tough. He cannot, you know, I mean, this is very tough. I'm not sure if it's good to call him or not. And we, we can try. <clears throat> May Allah forgive me for calling Zakir Naik brother late at night. He's not answering. Let me call him in his grandma phone number. Great and print. I told you to call me. Hey, how in the world you know even this is a phone number? It's not even, there is no smart screen. This is your grandma phone number. How you know it's me? Great and print. Allah inspire us. And this is a good proof that we are fully with to God. Otherwise, you tell me how I know that you. Okay, well, Allah inspired you about this. Let us see if Allah will inspire you about urine. Listen, friend, I'm drinking my coffee right now. And you're asking me about urine. How rude of you. Okay, but it says in the hadith that your prophet said he was copying a Jewish woman. She said that Allah will punish people in the grave because of urine. Explain to us why. Listen, friend. Yeah? Hello? Hello? Good friend, I have the answer. Uh, what was the question? Uh, okay, let me make the question for you more simple. Allah will not punish you in the grave because you are a rapist, child molester, thief, killer, pirate, fraud, scammer, but Allah will torture you in the grave because you drop some urine in your foot. Do you think this is make any sense? Listen, friend. First of all, I have to admit, in Islam, nothing makes sense. But is it the same in the Christianity? It doesn't make sense. For you, you say one plus one plus one is one. It doesn't make sense too. Hey, no, we don't say one plus one plus one plus one is equal to one. We don't have the plus. Where do you get the plus? God is in three person, the same as the water is a steam, is a is a is a snow, uh, is, a, is a liquid, but still uh, water is water. Christian friends, you cannot debate me and you cannot fool me. If you think I will leave Islam, you are making a mistake. I will never leave Islam, even if Islam is stupid. So you're admitting Islam is stupid? I didn't say that. I'm saying even if it is, I will not leave Islam. So you are agreeing Islam it is. I didn't say that. What's wrong with you? So, but you said it's possible Islam is a stupid. Didn't you say that? Exactly. I said it's possible, but it's impossible for the Prophet to be stupid. Okay, so how the Prophet, he is saying that urine just because of a Jewish woman is the reason for the punishment of the grave. Why Allah will not torture us for being a rapist? 
thief, killer, for urine. I mean, what is the crime he, the, the, the person he did? Outfit you. Let's say you are going to piss. You are pissing already. I mean, you flood the, if your mouth. I mean, it's, is it the same? <laughs> Water comes from your mouth. It's the same as coming from the other direction. Chris and Brave, respect yourself. You are very rude. And this white color, they don't debate you. Okay, so what is the difference, really? I mean, we spit, we do poo poo, we do, we are, so what? I mean, why? Is that a crime? I mean, this even this guy, he didn't, nobody do it in intention to do it. It happened. So why <coughs> Allah will punish him? Out with you. Allah hate you. There are three things Allah hate them. Number one, Christian friend. Number two, uh, uh, the king of the kings. And number three, uh, Christian friend. <laughs> Anyone have an answer for this? <laughs> this is a prophet, this is God, this is a religion. Just because of a Jewish woman, she said that Muhammad he said this is true. And look, Aisha, she said to her, you are lying. She said, Muhammad, uh, the, the Jewish woman, she said, no, it's true. We cut our skin and clothes because of it. You see, Muhammad, because he was trying his best to be accepted by the Jews. So whatever the Jews says, because now the women, she will go out and she will say, Muhammad, he agree with us. That's the whole idea. He's a fraud. He have no dignity. The message of Allah went out and pray to pray and her, you know, and our voice become loud. So he said, what is this? So I told him what she said. She had said, he said, she spoke the truth. Who is here is convinced that the God of Islam really he will torture you not because of rape, not because of theft, not because of being a child molester like Muhammad, but because of some urine in your foot. Anyone? So I have to say that the area she have a point that Muhammad he tried to copy a lot from the Jews, but he did not copy from the book of God. He copied the fairy tale stories of the Jews. As an example, <clears throat> the Jews they sent Muhammad, sent uh, uh, someone to Muhammad. If I read for you the story, you will die laughing. But we have to read it anyway. So I love in what I can do for you. Get your insurance ready. <laughs> this is Sahil Bukhari. When the news arrival of the Prophet blah 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 to Medina reached Abdullah ibn Salam, he went and asked him certain things. Okay. Search the examine of the Prophet. See the guy is examining the Prophet. He said to Muhammad, I am going to ask you about three things which only prophet can answer. Like what? What? The guy himself, he knew the answer. So he must be a prophet too. Imagine I say to you, I will ask you questions, only prophet, he knew their answer, but the guy, later you will see in the story, he agreed, this is the true answer. So Abdullah ibn Salam must be a prophet too. You just said only prophet can answer. I mean, have you ever heard of a low IQ story like this? Unbelievable. Christopher, I'm going to get you about that. Zachary Naik, where you come from, man? I did not call you. Are you under the table? Wait, I did not call you. Christopher, you are stupid. And I'm going to tell everybody that you are stupid. 
This person, he said that the prophet, that only prophet knew the answer. After the prophet, he answered, the guy, he said to him, I agree with you. Did not mean he's a prophet? But how? He said only prophet knew the answer. So how he can confirm the answer unless he knew the answer? Exactly. He knew the answer. But that did not make him a prophet. But it says only prophet knew the answer. Does it say there only prophet knew the answer? That means there's no other exception. And this is how we knew if the person is a prophet or not. Exactly. And you get the point there. Okay, so how the guy he knew the answer is the prophet? I can tell you. Sometimes Allah he inspired some people and he gives them wahi. Eh? But that makes him a prophet too. Exactly. So now we have two Muslim prophets, Abdullah ibn Salam and Muhammad, the son of uh, God knows who. <laughs> <laughs> and then guys the story <laughs> the story continue and look how hard the questions I mean that's tough that's really tough unbelievable what is the first food which people of paradise will eat I will give you three options Taco Bell McDonald the liver of the wheel. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's so good. That that's tough. That's I mean, this is how we knew he's a prophet or not. The prophet he should know what the failed first meal we will eat in the heaven. Are you kidding me? Only prophet of God he knew that. And look how important the question is. What is the first meal we will eat when we enter heaven? <laughs> Super duper intelligence, man. You remember the hadith where it says, even the Quran says that Allah, he made the plastic surgery for Muhammad expanding his chest. And then Jibreel, he took all the, the material inside as the hadith translation say, and washed it with Zamzam. And then he installed a dish of faith and wisdom this is after he got the wisdom. I mean, do you see how much wisdom? So the first meal, what is the first meal? This is the first question. And then, why does the child attract similarity to his father or to his mother? Ah, that's, that, is, that is a question. And I love this question, just wait. The prophet replied, Jibreel has just now informed me. Hold on, hold on, I'm receiving inspiration. Oh, oh, please, don't make, please, guys, don't make noise. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm receiving uh, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, inspiration, and, uh, and the inspiration is going to come, uh, uh, you know, uh, hold, hold, hold on. Uh, you know, uh, the inspiration, Jibril, uh, uh, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, let me, let me hear it again, uh, please. Okay, Jibril just told me, Jibril just told me uh, the following, brother. And look what he said to him, Jibril, the enemy of the Jews? Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews, but yesterday they got me a Jew, they got me a Jew to defend Islam. <laughs> Hilarious. The Prophet said, uh, for the first sign of the hour, it will be a fire, will be collect the people from the east and the west. As for the first meal, which people in paradise will eat, is going to be the cowdet loop of the wheel, not the fish liver, you know, the wheel, the wheel liver. And the reason he said this, by the way, because Arab, they believe that the wheel liver give you special power for sex. Makes sense. You are getting the pimp house. As for the child, and here we go, Muhammad now here is going to shine as a prophet. As for the child, if the man discharged the proceed the the, the, the the women discharge the child attracts a to the man <laughs> 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 
the Ghazi Kabadi, or the Ori Which means, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. How the Prophet knew that, unless he is a Prophet? We have to admit. No, my Skype is not open. I'm, I'm not thinking actually to open Skype today. I'm going to take a break from Skype. The Messenger of Allah said, The women water is thick and yellow and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. The great Sahih. It is Sahih. You cannot play the game and say it is not Sahih. I know you. Zakir Naik, come from under the table. Zakir, where are you? Zakir? Come on, Zakir, where are you? Zakir? Peter Ben, talk on my name. No. So why you are not answering? First of all, I am very moody. And I answer when I want. Okay, so why you answer me? Because I don't want to answer you. But you did. Exactly. I don't understand. You said you want to answer me, but now you are talking to me. I don't want to whiff. Okay, so now the prophet said, if you have orgasm first, your son will resemble you. Is that why your son, he don't resemble you? Because I saw your son in the video. He don't look like you. Little bit. Always when I have sex intercourse, my wife take comfort. And this is why all my children, they look like my wife. Uh huh? So your children look like your wife, but the prophet, he says, Adhkar. Adhkar. In different hadith, which means he will become a boy. So your wife, she come first, and yet you have a boy. <laughs> Are you marrying a man? Zakir Nae? Christopher, respect yourself. My wife, she is a beautiful woman. And she has big breath. Uh, the same as the Quran described them? Exactly. But not very big. I mean, how big we are talking. Beautiful. So terrible effect. How come the Quran speak about women in the heaven and describe how much their boobs will be and you are just considering this conversation is not respectful? Hmm? So it's okay for Allah to say it, but it's not okay for me to say it? Beautiful. Allah, when he speak, he have no shame. Uh, he have no shame. Shameless God. Exactly. So when Allah, he describe for us that women in heaven, they have big boobs because simply he trying to tempt us. So we do good deed. Good what? Good deed. That deed? deed? Uh, good, good deed. Keep it. Even your English, it's not it's funny. Muslims, <clears throat> what is this? What is this? And then the Prophet, he been approved by Abdullah ibn Salam that he is a prophet of God because he, is, he gave the correct answer. I mean, can you believe it how correct the answer is? <laughs> now, after the prophet, he did vote for the quiz of a prophet. Do you Muslims agree the prophet he answered correctly? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Don't you think the prophet is a stupid when he said that? You idiot, whatever I say, you say yay. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Any Abdul? So this is how the prophet is a prophet? That's so good. That's so good to be true.
I mean, this is really good. Okay, now we go back to the topic. <clears throat> Yesterday, the Jews, they came with the Muslims to prove to us that Allah is God. So what happened? You are Orthodox Jews, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you think about Muhammad? <laughs> Muhammad, yani, um, by essentially the Quran and the Hadith, uh, from what I've seen, I think he was a false prophet, obviously. I think he was primarily hallucinating the majority of the things uh, you know, that he was doing, including revelation. However, morally speaking, I don't think that he was that morally detestable when it comes to his relations with Jews. Um, politically speaking, military, you know, militarily speaking, right? Okay. Can, 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 can you stop, please? Can you can you stop, please? Can you, can you stop? Give me the other person. The other person, would you the one? Guys, did you hear it? The Muslims they ask a Jew to come and prove me wrong. What? The sound is not good for you. That's weird. You should hear it very very good. All right. Is the speaker a corner, not Skype, Miss V? Hey, Jeffrey, don't flood the text, my friend. I will block you. Don't be stupid. Uh, the Muslims, they were not expecting Christian Prince to get them busted in the first two seconds. They thought the Muslim, by calling the Jew, the Jew, he will say the two words which the Muslim, he want him to say, and he will leave. You know what I mean? Do you want me to call the Jew for you? Do you want me to call the Jew? I don't. Do you want to call the Jew? Are you sure? You want to call the Jew? Are you sure? Or you say that Allah is actually a pagan God among God? Right? Yes, Allah is a pagan God because the one who believe, the one who teach, if, if the one who taught you, who is the one who taught you? Who is the one who taught you that the black stone, touching black stone, forgive your sin? Is it Allah or Muhammad? Yeah. I lost your voice. What happened? Huh? Day of judgment, right? Where, it's, where it says in the day of judgment. Where it says in the day of judgment. Read carefully. It says, I ask Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching the two, two corners? He said, I heard message of Allah saying, touching them a real sin. When you pray, uh, what's your name? No. Uh, Christian Prince, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you kiss the cross and when you pray to the cross, is mm -hmm. that not pagan worship? First of all, show me where Jesus said kiss the cross. Secondly, no, no, I'm saying, I'm secondly, I'm saying the we don't believe the cross. We don't believe the cross. We don't believe the cross forgives sin, and we don't believe the cross that it is God. Why? It's a piece of wood. It does not. It's a piece of wood. Secondly, who so, secondly, who told you who I kiss? Sin? Who told you I kiss the crosses? So you are making a stupid thing. The one who kisses a stone is your prophet. Hello. The one who kisses a stone is your prophet. My correct? Question, now, right? Christian Prince. Yes. So I have here an Orthodox Jew, right? So according to you, Allah is not. Uh, according to you, Allah is a pagan god and. See, you see the Muslims, they prepare themselves. Do you remember when they supposedly uh, they were debating what his name, uh, apostate prophet, and then they brought this stupid idiot uh, puppy, uh, Muhammad Hijab. I saw just a minute of it, of this, uh, you know. Uh, supposedly like and hijab he says to him don't be scared don't be scared don't be why you don't ambush me with muhammad hijab why you muslim don't call me and after you call me you put me with him i want to get ambushed and the one who hang up first is the coward in this ambush And then Mimi, he started in the Quran and he did not know how to read it and he missed, skipped some words of the verse. <laughs> it's hilarious. I will make a video about it because it's really funny. But anyway, so I get a Jew here and you are saying Allah is not God. Okay. He is an Orthodox Jew. He is what? He is an Orthodox Jew. He is what? Orthodox Jew. 
Is that like a heavy duty one? <laughs> You know, like I supposed to, like he got me, he got me a heavy duty weapon. So what if he's a Jew? Don't you see those people? They believe that urine will make them being tortured, and you are copy from their stupid Talmud, you idiot. All the fairy stories, fairy tale stories of Muhammad is coming from the books of the rabbis. So the rabbis are the bunch of idiots, and they are the one who help us actually to expose Muhammad. If Muhammad did not copy what the rabbis, the stupid rabbis specifically, saying, we will not be laughing right now. So we are thankful for rabbi. And now you got me a little rabbi. This is not a rabbi. This is a, a Jew, Orthodox Jew. <laughs> I'm going to grow some hair in this side of my head, and that will make me a Jew. <laughs> we cannot ask Sam Shamun to do that. He have no hair. That's a problem. Now, so what happened after that? He got me a Jew. Suddenly, from the middle of nowhere, he got me a Jew, and the Jew is speaking to me, life on air. Christian Prince is in trouble. Unbelievable. Jews do not worship him or whatever. Hmm. Uh, can I ask him? Sure, tell, sure uh, ask him. Tell me. You know? hmm. Okay, go ahead. Me, hello? Me. Go ahead, you are Orthodox Jews, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you think about Muhammad? Muhammad, yani, um, I never heard of an Orthodox Jew. He say yani. This is Arab talk. Yani. When an Arab, he had nothing to say. You know, he's looking for words. Yani, 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 yani. What is that? This is this is a Jew. Eh, but anyway, thank you. I will believe you, he's a Jew. <laughs> yani. <laughs> By essentially the Quran and a hadith, uh, from what I've seen, I think he was a false prophet, obviously. I think he was primarily hallucinating the majority of the things uh, you know, that he was doing, including. The Have you ever seen a guy he go to the ring of fighting and after two seconds his nose became so big? This Muslim, he brought me the Jew to prove to me that Allah is God. In the first two seconds, the Jew is talking to me. He's saying, Muhammad is hallucinating. Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad is a scumbag. <laughs> and he is the one who asked the Jew to talk to you. I love it. You want to play with a Christian prince? Look what you did. Now, how many people will copy this short video? Make it, make it short, guys. A Jew, an Orthodox Jew, get a Christian prince busted. So you get me a Jew, and I made you with him barbecue. This is what happened. They, so, uh, touching them, a real sin. When you pray, uh, the, what's your name? No, uh, Christian prince. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you kiss the cross, and when you pray to the cross, is that <laughs> not pagan worship? First of all, show me where Jesus said, kiss the cross. Secondly, you know, do you remember, guys, I made a chat with a Muslim website. It's called Convert to Islam something. So I asked them, uh, brother, I have a question about Islam. Uh, why, um, uh, uh, you know, Muslims, they kiss the black stone. Uh, why the Prophet, why Prophet Muhammad, he kiss the black stone? He said, after five minutes, I'm waiting. He said, because it's holy. Then I asked him, and why the black stone is holy? He answered me after five minutes, he says, because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> I made a video about it. I don't know if any of you have it. What? Why Why the prophet, he kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy, brother? Because the prophet kissed it. Oh. Okay, why the prophet kissed it? Because it's holy. Okay. And why... It's holy because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> Lovely. So beautiful. Genius.
Secondly, secondly, we don't believe the cross. We don't believe the cross. We don't believe the cross forgives sin, and we don't believe the cross that it is God. It's a piece of wood. It's a piece of wood. Secondly, secondly, who told you I kiss? Who told you I kiss a cross? Trust me, I am an Orthodox Jew. Is that make you special? <laughs> Zachariah, are you the one who called me? Zachariah, Isaac, are you the one who called me? Are you the one who is voice in the video? Are you that one? Are you? <clears throat> Zachariah. You know, Mahdi, today I'm not going to take Skype, really. I want to, you know, I'm not in the mood for Skype. So yesterday I lost my voice. I heard my voice. You know, I spent like five hours reading the verse about boobs in the Quran to hear my voice, man. I don't want to do it again. Are you not calling me Zachariah? Okay, you are saved now. Crosses. So you are making a stupid thing. The one who kisses a stone is your prophet. Hello? The one who kisses a stone is your prophet, my correct? Question, yeah, right? Christian Prince. Yes. So I have here an Orthodox Jew, right? So according to you, Allah is not. Uh, according to you, Allah is a pagan god, and Jews do not worship him or whatever. Mm. Uh, can I ask him? So, sure, sure, ask uh, him. Tell me. You know? mm. Okay, go ahead. Me. Hello? Okay. Go ahead. You are Orthodox Jewish, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you think about Muhammad? Muhammad, yani, uh, yani, by essentially the Quran and the Hadith, yani, uh, from what I've seen, I think he was a false prophet, obviously. I think he was primarily hallucinating the majority of the things uh, you know, that he was doing, including revelation. However, morally speaking, I don't think that he was that morally detestable when it comes to his relations with Jews, um, politically speaking, military, you know, militarily speaking, right? Okay. Can, 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 can you stop, please? Can you, can you stop, please? Can, can you stop? Give me the other person. The other person, would you? The one. The one, did you hear the Jew saying to you, and you are the one who brought him to talk to me, saying that your prophet oh, is a... He's saying that your prophet is a scumbag, he is a fraud, he is a liar. What do you say? I didn't say scumbag. Well, I am saying that, but obviously you are saying that, but you, maybe you don't dare to say it. The second you say, That's false. the second you guys, the Jewish guy, he said to me, I did not say he's a scumbag. I say he's a liar. <laughs> and look at the Jew, like right away. I did not say he's a scumbag. No, you did not. So a person who is a false prophet, what he is? <laughs> if a person, he steal your credit card, is he a scumbag? Yes. If a prophet, he steal life, fooling people, misleading from God, send him to die for him so he can kidnap women, is he a scumbag or not? <clears throat> I did not say a scumbag. I say he's a what? Hellenization, excuse my English, is that American? Can you correct my English? Christian Prince, your English is stupid, and your Arabic is stupid. You don't speak Arabic, you don't speak English. I know what they would do with you. Okay, so, okay, so what we will do now? The Prophet do not know even how to read his name. My Prophet do not need to read name, but yet we are below him. So, what the problem then? How come he can be your teacher? He do not know how to write his name, and you don't want me to be your teacher. Get a breath. You are the worst teacher in the world. First of all, I hate you. Secondly, I pray to Allah to curse you. And I ask Allah to make you skinny like me. Mm -hmm. How you know I'm not skinny like you? I saw your big star. <laughs> you saw my big star. Where you saw it? Brother Sisi, it put in a picture there. Is it this to you? How you know it's me? Maybe it's not. And mostly it's not. Good friend, I know it's you. And I'm very sore. Yeah, how you can be sore? Because he looked like you. But you idiot, you don't know how I look like. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, the stupidity is amazing. Okay, so they get me the Jew, and the Jew, he said, the prophet is a false prophet. From the first 30 seconds in the conversation. And then I said to the Jew, you said that the prophet is a scumbag. The Jew has corrected me and get me busted. He said, I did not say good scumbag. 
Hello. The prophet oh. is a, saying that your prophet is a scumbag. He is a fraud. He is a liar. What do you say? Oh, I didn't say scumbag. Well, I am saying that, but obviously you are saying that, but you, maybe you don't dare to say it. The second you say, the second you say he's a false prophet, that means a scumbag, because a scumbag is the one who takes the money of the people. Listen, listen. So give me the Muslim, please. Give me the Muslim. The Muslim. The one. Are you there? Does not believe in that, okay? Okay. Also, does not believe in Jesus being. Uh, hold on! No, 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 no! Hold on! Hold on! This is this is not my this is not my topic. This is not my topic. This guy he he brought you here to say that you believe in Allah and you just and look, you guys. Even the Jew he just said, we don't believe in Jesus, right? So again, Muhammad is a scumbag because either you are lying as a Jew that this is the true Christ. Or Muhammad telling the truth that this is a true Christ. I mean, do you see how stupid the Muslim when he bring a Jew? Because if you are bringing the Jew as what? As an expert, right? To tell you the truth. Okay. So the Jew, he said, we don't believe in Christ. Christ did not come yet. But you Muslim in the Quran says, this is Isa Christ, the son of Mary. So even in that one, the Jew, he got your prophet busted. So either you accept what the Jew saying, Or go bury your nose with the mud covered by urine of a camel. The Jews don't believe that Christ, he came, they are waiting for him. And I'm talking about the one who they call themselves Jews, not the Messianic Jews. And by the way, the majority of the Jews are already Christians. What is left is very few. That's why there are not even 20 millions in the whole world. And there's many rabbis, the reason they will side with Islam because they consider Christianity is a bigger threat. Their children are converting to Christianity, not into Islam. You might find once a while a Jew he convert to Islam. But you would not find once a while a Jew convert to Christianity. You will find that every day. And the Muhammadan, they are so desperate to the point they are asking Jews for help. Isn't it, the, isn't it the Quran who said, the most enemy for the Muslims are the one who they call them Jews, and this is the word of Muhammad? How you ask the Jews? How desperate are you? Seriously, how desperate are you? All those verses, and especially chapter 5, verse number 82, it says this to the Muslims. The most people of enmity and hatred to you is those who they call themselves Jews. Do you see it? And the most nice people to you is those who call themselves Christians. You stupid idiot. You are against the Quran now. How desperate are you? And here we need to ask ourselves a question. How in the world a Jew, he side with those who want to kill him? Look what Muhammad he said. The Muslims have to commit a, a massacre against the Jews. <clears throat> Muhammad, he said, Allah Apostle said, the hour will not come. The hour will not be established until you fight with the Jews. And the stone behind with which a Jew will be hiding will say, Oh Muslims, there is a Jew hiding behind me, kill him. How you idiot, you claim to be a Jew and you side with the devil who want to slaughter your children. How devilish, how foolish, how donkish. Can you believe it? How desperate they are, both of them. 
we are bringing a lot of depression. We cannot escape reality that Muhammad is a fool and he is a scumbag. And when they got me a Jew, we made them both barbecue. Let us hear the rest of the conversation. Guys, are you enjoying your time? Suleyman Yahya saying, show us evidence. Evidence of what, Suleyman Yahya? We have a Muslim here, his name Suleyman Yahya is asking to show evidence of what? I mean, I am here every day showing you in the screen and you are saying to me, show me evidence. So what I am showing you now, diapers? Harun Yahya, what I have in the screen, is that evidence or a diaper for you? Imahdi, why you wanna call me, my friend? Yesterday you called me many times. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm not in the mood for a call now. Are you there, Yahya? Show us evidence. Stop talking. Show us a proof, a reference. Idiot. And by the way, your name is Harun Yahya. I mean, how in the world even? You change your name, my friend. You could not find better than name than this, Harun Yahya. And this is my favorite Dawa team, Harun Yahya. It's my dream to be a Muslim Dawa like Harun Yahya. <sighs> Me, look at this. This is Harun Yahya. Brother, oh boy, this is his live show, brother, oh boy, uh oh, oh boy, that's a live show, man, this is Islamic Dawah team, live on TV, Harun Yahya, peace be upon him. If, 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 praise be to Allah. <laughs> Means what? That's real. Uh, that's a business. Not the poor me shouting with the Abdul. Uh, look at this, man. <laughs> Mean. Praise be to Allah. We are in heaven already. By the way, guys, this guy every day he used to go live in TV and in YouTube. Now he's arrested for child molestation and human trafficking. He is the one behind Quran and science. The first one who wrote about it, it is him. And the Muslims are copying him. As you see, he's a, nothing but a scumbag. And not even a single Muslim was upset because this guy doing Islam da'wah by this. By what? By this, literally. Take a ticket, take a tea, take a two, take a take a take a two, take a tea, take a 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 the Quran speak about big boobs, so why he will not care, brother? Hmm. And now we have Zakir Naik. <laughs> we go back to the topic. The topic. Come on, forget about this now. So you call yourself Harun Yahya? You remind me of him. It's your fault. Change your name. Call yourself Muhammad Rasulullah, and then I will show you something different. They look all the same. Hold on. There's somebody said something. I like it. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> One of you, he said, they all look the same. Uh, the Sultan Light. The top Sultan Light. I don't know if I'm saying the, your name correctly. All they look the same. Guess what? In the heaven of Allah, all men will look the same, all women will look the same. <laughs> all 
all men they will be 33 years old brother and all of them they will have the face of a prophet joseph and they will have same height <laughs> and women they are whore. they are looking the same brother i mean how imagine you go to a dating website and in the profile of the whole website, they have the same profile picture for the males and the same profile pictures for the female. The same height, the same names, the same face, the same look, the same hair, everything is the same. Welcome to the garbage of Muhammad. How you recognize that this is your husband? If all of them are the same. <laughs> Let us continue because I suppose that I will go long because I have to go soon. Man, it's getting late. Let me finish this, man. Islam is so lovely. I can't resist the temptation. A lot of temptation here. How many of you is going to convert to Islam after this? Said to me that Muhammad believed in different Allah. So how you believe in the same one? Muhammad is a false prophet because if Muhammad he believe in Allah, is the Allah who will send him, and you don't believe that he sent by the God, that's when you believe in different God. No, that's not true. Well, then uh, the thing is, that's also not true, right? Because there are false prophets. Isn't it the Bible says the false prophet is the one who speak by the name of other God, prophesy in the name of other God, or their prophecies is false? Two things will make a false prophet. Prophesying in the name of other God, and this is what Muhammad did, we cannot find Allah in the Bible. And the God of the Bible, you know, we got him busted. We asked the Muslims, is your God Allah have a spirit? He said, no. Does the God of the, in the Bible have a spirit? Yes. So it's not the same God. Even the nature is different. Prophets back. <laughs> okay, listen. So the, the false prophet, the false prophet, who is their god according to the Torah, isn't it their god is Satan, the false prophet? Because all lies come from Satan. No, no. no these um, these people would still have the same god. Ah, uh -huh. so you are a false prophet, but you have the same god. Okay, hold on. When you prophesy, see, 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 see how the devil is siding with the devil. If he is a false prophet, how we have the same god? Can you believe it? If the one who sent Muhammad is not the true God, otherwise, why we call him a false prophet? So who is his God? Oh, he's a, his God is a true God. So he's a, his God is a true God, but he's a false prophet. Why? When you prophesy, you are prophesying in the name of which God? In the name of the true God, but it's not a true a prophecy. So you are a liar. Well, let's say liar, either a crazy okay, so you agree that Muhammad is lying? Okay, so you agree that Muhammad is lying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad is lying, prophesying in the name of a false god. So, you know, you're a polytheist, Christian prince. Who's talking now? The Jew or the Muslim? According to, you know, can you tell him, Yoshi, that he is actually a polytheist? Yes, according to Judaism, we begin. See, in a second they change the topic now. You are both of you that uh, Christian friends. <laughs> the second you spank them so hard, in the same moment, they, in the speed of light, they change the topic. Immediately. Before even you count to three. You are a polytheist, uh, Christian friends. Uh -huh. We are. Well, let us see. You must then believe that the Quran is not a created. Allah not a created, so you have to divine. The one in Islam who say Quran is a created, he will be killed. Who created the Quran? The Quran is not a created. Okay. It's a divine. Allah did they create the Quran? No. So the Quran is exists by itself. I mean, you see the stupidity? When the Quran says, <clears throat> see my voice is tired from yesterday, it's supposed to make it short, you will leave it. When the Quran said that if we want to take partners, we will take a partner from ourselves. How Allah is one, but He will take partner from ourselves. Hmm? And then we go to the interpretation, it says, if Allah want to take a partner, He will take it from 
either the black eyed women or the angels. And look at the false translation here. It says, if we want to take a partner, surely we will take it from things nearest to us. Hmm. And what pastime? Lahwan in Arabic, which is not really an Arab word. It is it, it means women. Fun. See, it's an insulting word. Fun. If you change the translation or even the interpretation, you will see how in speed of light. The word change. This is this is Yusuf Ali. Let us see Big Tad. Look. Big Tad says if we wish to find the pastime, we would find it, found it in our presence. Does it say our presence? Pastime, what is pastime? Explain. Let us see. Change the translator. This is Big Tad. Let us go to uh, Hari, Muhammad Hari and Khan. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 ah, 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 ta, 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 here we go. Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Allah thinking to take a wife. <laughs> You're so cute. We could surely have taken it from us. From what? Us. Allah will take a wife from us. May Allah ask you how Allah is one and He want to take a partner, a wife from us. Us who? Do you think Allah is from those guys who do things to themselves? You know, I don't know. It sounds weird for me. How he can do it? Maybe he have a long thing, you know? I'm talking about his nose, you know? Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., etc., what is that? <laughs> I like the etc. <laughs> Last time I went to a Mexican restaurant and I said etc. They gave me everything in the restaurant. Actually, I did not say a restaurant. I mean, I did not say etc. I, you know, the woman she was speaking to me in Spanish. I don't know what she's saying. I was saying okay. I thought she's talking about spice, salt. I don't know. Then whatever she said, I say okay. She was mentioning to me dishes. And then I sat at the table after 15 minutes, they brought me a, the guy, he, he have a big hat in his head, big tray, full of this is. And he started putting them in my table. I said, what is this, man? He said, this is okay, sir, senor, <laughs> senor, etc. Never say etc. in a Mexican restaurant. Never say okay to someone who didn't speak his language. Here we go. They got me like 50 dishes and I have to pay for them now. Anyway. Don't say etc. What do you mean etc? We got it. A wife or a son. What etc. mean? What is that? Dog. But he's saying us. <laughs> so the Muslims, they are Islam is a very stupid, confused cult. As simple as that. The God of the Jews, he have a spirit. The God of the Muslim don't have a spirit. So how this idiot who claimed to be a Jew coming to us and saying, Allah is the same God. Are you sure? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You and the Jewish guy, both of you are a fraud. Let me tell you why. Because if he's a Jew, if he is a Jew, he knew from the first, in the first verse, in the second, in the, in the, in the Old Testament, it says it clearly in the book of Genesis, right away, that God in his spirit, do you agree, a Mr. Jewish man, that God had a spirit? The Ruach Kodesh, but yes, the Ruach Kodesh is different from the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about the, I'm not talking about the Ruach I'm not talking about the Ruach Kodesh. No, he's supposed to hear the smart, so right away he jumped to the Ruha Kudas. Like, Ruha Kudas, Ruha Kudas, yeah. yeah. 
let us know. Just don't go, don't, don't go too well, far. That, that hold, hold on, hold on, don't go there. Hey, 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 Jack Shalom, don't go there. Listen, do you agree that in the book of Genesis mentioned that God and his spirit, yes or no? Yes, but it, okay. the let us go. The let us go to the second part. Do you agree that God has a spirit, yes or no? Yes, but it's Okay, thank you very much. Stop, stop, stop. The God of Islam has no spirit. So how Muhammad God is the same as your God? If the God of Islam has no spirit. Well, essentially, well, actually, they believe that essentially God had a rule. This is not, this is not the question. This is not the question. No, the Muslims they don't agree. They believe that Allah has no rule. No, he... You're not going to let me finish. All right? See, the same word that is used for Ruach and Agim. This is not, this is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. Listen, this is not the question. This is not the question. You agree that God has a spirit. The Muslims don't agree that God has a spirit. They agree so, that he has a roof. They actually do agree that he has a roof. No, they don't. No, they don't. I can show you in the screen. No. This donkey, he want to teach me Islam now. The, the Jewish guy, he want to teach me Islam. No, they agree. They agree. No, they agree. They agree. Are you sure? Yeah, they agree. They agree. <laughs> don't be stupid. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us ask the Muslim. Let us ask the Muslim to answer for the Muslim. The one, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Do you agree that Muslims believe that Allah has a spirit, or he don't? Yeah. We our soul comes from Allah Subhanahu. This is not the question. This is not. See, see, see how they play. They play dumb. You know, they play dumb in order not to answer. You have to repeat the question. This is why my, my job is really hard. I lose my voice. I hurt my voice. I hurt my throat. Actually, I, well, I was thinking not to come today, you know, actually, to, to give my throat a, a, a rest. I mean, we keep screaming, 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 repeating the same question. And they try always to avoid. The question, Allah himself, do Allah himself have a spirit? Allah himself, not our soul, Allah himself, is it, he had a spirit or not? Again, you know, we consist out of, um, you know, what's it called? The, uh, okay, one, one, do you believe that Allah has a rule? This is not the question, this is not the question. Why are you are playing games? I'm asking you. They play stupid, like he's not getting it now, suppose. He knew very well what we are talking about. We are talking if, if your God have a spirit or not. Very simple. Do, the, do you Muslim believe that Allah have a spirit? Yes or no? And um, what do you mean by spirit? Is it something? Uh, all of this is a question, and now he asking me what do you mean by spirit? <laughs> oh boy. Refute Farid 100 lies. My friend, Allah knows best. Why this Farid, if he is a man? He don't, just give me his Skype and I will call him right now. Even though I am tired, what do you think? Correct guys? You you have a bunch of boys, bunch of kids, gang. Ask yourself, who is the one who is running away from a call? It's a call. What will happen? He will lose his virginity. Answer Farid. We are answering Farid, you see, here we go. This is the puppy of Farid, he's coming here. This is the boyfriend of Fifi. Do you see what we did to him? And Fifi, she did not dare to call me. And she will not let me call her. Because she knew that her virginity is going to be exposed. As the Quran says, no genie and no human touch them. Oh, sorry, not touch them. Ahem <clears throat> them. Something physical or not? The no. God of the Bible, he has, a spirit is a physical. What's wrong with you? Since when a spirit is a physical? Spirit is a spirit. Is Allah have a spirit? Is Allah a spirit, first of all? Okay. Is Allah is a spirit? To make it simple. Okay. The spirit or soul, okay, is not one of the attributes of Allah. Right? Thank you very much. So tell the idiot, so tell the idiot who said to you, tell the idiot who just said to me, the Muslim believe Allah has a spirit, and you just said, get lost, both of you. Both of you are a bunch of donkeys, and you get busted. Because none of you, he gave me the correct answer. Both of you are hypocrite. Just shut up. See the cowards? All this shouting just to say Allah has no spirit. We agree at the end that Allah, yes, have no spirit. Took me how long? Just repeating the same question. And the stupid idiot, the Jew, he says, no, the, the Muslim, they, they believe that Allah have a ruh. Right? 
stones only take permission from Allah then forgive the sin from you okay uh, we have a Muslim here trying to be smart I like it when a Muslim he tried to be smart I mean, at least he is trying let us see what Mr. Ali is saying stones only take permission from Allah then forgive the sin from you okay that's mean you believe that stones are alive and they are the middleman between you and God hmm. that's mean all the stories of Muhammad that he is the one who is going to intercede for you is a lie it's in the black stone who would do that you are a pagan person this is what the Arab actually used to do when they kiss the black stone they believe that the black stone is a meditator between them and God The Arab, when they worship an idol, they are not worshiping the stones, really. They are making an idol of the God which they worship, so he will be the middle per between them, between the man and the God. You are a pagan, my friend. All of you are pagans, Muhammadan. Stone, black stone kissers. Especially this black stone, according to your Islamic books, it says that this is a black stone used to be white, and the blood of the vagina made it black or dark. Is my voice coming, guys? No, my internet is fine, so you have no reason to be buffering. You have to refresh your page, maybe. <clears throat> okay, maybe the net was down a little bit. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to download all the videos. I will take my videos soon, the one in my channel. So if you did not download the previous videos, download them. This one will be maybe ready for a few hours from now. You can download it then. And I want to say thank you all for being here. Um, I'm happy to see more Muslims live in Islam every day. Our videos are making revolutions around the world. And actually, Muslims, when they attack me, they are bringing me way more Muslims because Muslims themselves are not convinced with the stupid answers the Muhammadan they are giving them. This is why they end here. There's a name you will see in the chat. I'm not in the chat, in the, in the comment section. This person used to reject listening to me. For the first time, this Muslim person asking me to change the time so he can hear me. This person, he always posts comment against me in YouTube. Now he's asking me, can you please change the time? And you know what does that mean, right? He don't want to miss it. Muslims are asking me to change the time so they can watch it live. That is wonderful. And for those who keep making uh, buffering, my friend, I mean, even if it's buffering, you should not do that. Wait for it. If it's fixed, fix. If it's not, it's not. What we can do. All right? Avoid making those icons, buffering, etc., because that will not be helpful anyway. One is enough to tell us that we have a problem with the internet. However, at the end of the day, we cannot fix it, for this is not under my control. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Uh, uh, Mahdi is saying, we Christians are pagan. We believe in three gods. That, you see, this is a proof that Muslims are a bunch of liars because we don't believe in three gods. Don't, don't, uh, don't block the Muslims, please. We don't believe in three gods. Why you are you lying? We Christians, we believe in one God. It's you who believe in many gods. And we just showed you, Allah, if you want to take a wife, he will take it from ourself. So you can lie about us, say whatever you want. Like you say, one plus one plus one. But we Christians, we don't believe in such a garbage, one plus one plus one. Who believe in that? We don't. God is one. We don't believe in one plus one plus one. Can God be? Just to show you how stupid the Muhammadan when they have their logic. If we ask the Muslims, I was going to leave, but I will, I will stay a little bit more. If we ask the Muslims, who is the one, who is the fire who appeared to Moses in the Quran? They will say Allah. So Allah was a fire?
Hmm? Any Muslim can answer? Who was in the tree? And the tree, she said, I am Allah, the Lord of the world. The Muslim says Allah, and even the verse says that this is Allah. So, are you saying to me now you have two God? One in the throne and one in the tree? In order the Muslim to answer this, they have to make their own fabrication and no proof of that. No hadith, no reference. This is just trying their best to explain something they cannot explain. Look what the Quran said. In chapter 20, verse number 12. In chapter 79, verse number 16. Both of them speak that Allah is located in this land. And Allah, he said to Musa, take off your, your, your shoes, for this is a holy ground. Why it's holy ground? Because Allah is there. Huh? When Musa he came to the fire, he heard a sound saying, but the sound is coming from where? Coming from the tree. Verily, I am the Lord. The fire is talking. How many God you have? Any Muslim? You will say we have one God. Okay, but is Allah is in the throne or Allah is in the tree? If we go to different verse, just to show you the stupidity of this religion, this is why when Muhammad he stole stories and put it in the Quran, they don't make sense there. It makes sense in the Bible. <clears throat> when we go here, we will find the following. Chapter 28, verse number 30. And by the way, one of the stupid things in Islam that you will find the story is all over the, the Quran. As I told you, a guy was going to the bathroom and he was collecting paper to wipe his bum. And then he put them together in one book. This is why you cannot find the story in one chapter. It's all over the place. And there's no connection between verses before and verses after. But when he came to the fire, to who? To the fire. A voice was heard from the right bank of the valley from a tree. In a hollow with the ground, what the voice saying? Oh, Moses, says, verily, I am Allah, the Lord of the world. You see it? So is that a new Allah? Is Allah is inside his creation? The Muslim, they say Allah cannot be inside his creation. But we have any proof that this is stupid and this is not true. This is against Islam. Muhammad himself, he says, Allah, he go, he changes shape. Allah, he go inside the tree. Allah, he go down every third part of the night, which means the earth is a flat. And here we go, in the front of us, a verse in the Quran saying, Allah speaking from the tree. How the Muslims will answer this comedy? They will say to you, oh, the voice of Allah is there, but Allah is not. <laughs> so are you saying? Yeah, we apologize, guys. The internet is acting up. And with this, we finish for today, especially with the internet is not working good. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see, until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. And Islam is being busted every day. And we prove it. And we do it. And we are victorious by his name. The Lord, the Messiah. Christ, the living word of God, which is God in earth. And now God in heaven. And God is with us. So this is why God is a trinity. God is almighty. If you question how God can be three person, you need to question how God can be God. If God cannot be three person and yet he is God in the same time, that's mean how we can say he is almighty. 
He cannot be. He cannot be God and three persons. So God is God because he can do things nobody can do. Not like your God who he said in the Quran, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend. My God, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. And even you must then believe that Mary, she was a virgin. So when you question the God of the Christian, how God can be God, yet he is a three person, are you questioning how God can be God for he is not capable to be three or he is almighty God? So the question itself is being stupid, denying God by the question, denying God ability by the question. This is how silly you are. Maybe I should make a short video about this and share the information in maybe five, 10 minutes so you Christians can use it and get them busted with it. Thank you very much for uh, for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And we appreciate all those people who support us. God bless. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Take care.